So you just finished watching Saw Chain Man, Episode 7, and I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, oh, Kelly, I guess we have no time for an intro, but there will be no spoilers past Episode 7 and Chapters 18 to 21, since that's what the anime adapted. Babe, I know you're traumatized and confused, but... Wait, do you actually not know that Denji is a devil? Wait a minute, Aki, have you not told her? What are you doing with holding this useful Ooh, information? <laughs> ah, jeez, this is really bad. Denji's chainsaw powers are fueled by blood. And if he runs out of blood, then his chainsaws will... And it's gone. Huh. Now, if only we could remember that in episode 3, we established that devils can drink other devils' blood to heal themselves. Oh, wait! Denji remembers because he now unlocked another skill in his human brain. Experience! He has battle experience, and he learned from his enemies. Wow. Oh. Well, I didn't see that twist coming. Don't worry, Himeno. Just think about something else to take your mind off the fact that we're all gonna die anyways dad the fuck you doing here that's your master himeno he's a drunk asshole that steals babies go back to death stranding you dickhead no no i gotta be a professional okay so daddy here tells Jimeno that the best devil hunters are absolutely bonkers. <laughs> All of Jimeno's past boyfriends died because they were normies. You know what they say? As I get older, they stay. Wait, sick. what? No, it's there's nothing to fear but fear itself. Who are you even supposed to be? Okay, let's change the subject. How is Aki doing? Is he mentally unstable yet? Himeno says yes, as Aki spends all his time on a Mongolian spearfishing forum posting about where he can find guns. Daddy knows that she used to spend time on that weird forum too, and asks if she's crazy, but she's not. And that's the problem! Tons of devil hunters join with the same dream, to kill the gun devil. They're too honest, which makes them predictable. Now the crazy ones, they're unpredictable, and devils just like humans, Fear what they can't understand. Oh, just ignore him, Himmy. Daddy's been drinking too much again. He says that the more he drinks, the more brain cells he destroys, and the more powerful he'll become. Spoken like a true alcoholic. Dad? Where are you going? Dad? Please come back. Anyways. Aki is now in his 20s. You can tell by his top knot. Himeno doesn't want Aki to die, because she likes him. Wait, what do you mean you like him? She wants Aki to join the civilian sector and live a normal life. But Aki wants to hunt the gun devil because, well, it killed its family. You see, Aki might seem like a normal guy, but his obsession with the gun devil is what tips him towards crazy town. He tolerates power and Denji, even though a normal person would kick them out of his house. He lets himself get stabbed to protect Denji because he needs allies, and he doesn't get a haircut because he likes it when people paw on it, smack his ass, and call him beautiful. But Jimeno sees past that and thinks he's a normie. But Denji, on the other hand, shows no fear. He's so simple and inhuman that he's the perfect candidate to fight the gun devil, and maybe even beat it. So let's bring his ass back to life because the time is now. How the hell do you know what a perpetual motion machine is? What kind of fake science bullshit is Aki making you learn? In this anime, we follow the laws of thermodynamics! One eternity later. Ash is finally a Pokemon master, because we killed the Eternity Devil and freed his soul. For now. We all better get overtime pay for this, or did time stop in the real world as well? Wait, that wouldn't make any sense, unless the Eternity Devil is also the hyperbolic time chamber. Guess we know where that devil is going when he moves on from this anime. <laughs> now you might be thinking, Oh, Himmy wants to bang Aki. Or, or she could just be like a big stepsister to him. So she wants to bang Aki. I mean, yeah, I, I guess, but I'm gonna bang her. This hotel is getting one star on TripAdvisor. Fuck this place. At least we're all free though. And we got a tiny gun devil shit as loot. God, can you imagine if a devil got their hands on a bigger turd? We'd be screwed. But that's a problem for future Denji. 
I really need a drink. Hey, Himmy, I have an idea. Let's plan a time all Japanese tradition of making our colleagues from Division 4 go to a work party and forcing them to drink for company bonding. This is called Nomikai, one of the easiest ways to suck up to your superiors and get a promotion. Let's invite all our friends from the hotel. I'm sure they're dying to get a drink. What? Christian Boy Arai and Kelly are quitting. What? So they have PTSD and almost killed Denji. Big deal. Just go crack a cold one with the boys and say you're sorry. And let bygones be bygones. Wait, you want to invite Makima too? Aw, oh, but she's a weirdo, dude. Himeno is sus about Makima. Finally, someone with a brain. And that's why she's the best girl. But I think she knows that Aki is a simp for Makima, and she wants him to simp for her instead. And besides, Makima is really into Denji. She even stopped traveling ever since she found him. Hmm. Wonder what secret she has. Maybe if we get her drunk, she'll spill the beans. Now that's a transition. We are at an izakaya, a Japanese bar slash restaurant with traditional seating. And there is an etiquette to follow when you're participating in a nomikai. Such as, don't be late, Kelly. Look at you, all dressed up. Who are you trying to impress, huh? Trying to find a sugar daddy to fund your podcast, you gold digging bitch? <laughs> well, seeing as we are introducing a bunch of drunk new characters, let's go through them and their current status. First, we have Aki. He wants to kill the gun devil to avenge his family. He's also the caretaker for Denji and Power and has a crush on Makima. Fushi over here is Aki's bestie with an IQ of 134. He likes to flex his intelligence in order to attract women. He's also a caretaker for a scary fiend and he was supposed to bring a newbie too, but they sadly didn't survive their first mission. Just a reminder that hunting devils is still dangerous. Arai is a 22 year old man who gets all his news from the fox devil and doesn't need a contract as he has accepted the lord and savior Jesus Christ into his heart and soul. We also have the poopy blood fiend, Power, with a very high IQ. She is suing public safety for discrimination, but she's also hanging out with them so her case grows weaker. But at least she gets to eat all the horse sashimi, which is pretty good by the way. Scarface over here has a sweet tooth and a very tragic backstory where he used to be a drug lord in Miami. Himeno is the best girl and she has a contract with the John Cena devil because you can't see him. She's also an alcoholic and will kiss anyone drunk, which is not true. She hasn't kissed me yet. Denji is probably 16 years old. He doesn't have a birth certificate, so we can't confirm it. Even if we did, he can't read it anyways. He's got that dog in him and is waiting for Jimeno to get drunk so she can give him a French kiss that she promised. But in the meantime, he's just living life, eating good food, among good company. This is Agni. He used to star in a fire manga and punched his way to become a cult icon, but sadly his career was cut short because he was sleeping with his sister. He's a pretty nice guy, but he constantly wants you to eat his ass, so that's pretty weird. And this is Miley Cyrus the only subscriber to Kelly's podcast and to this channel. Be like Miley Cyrus. Subscribe and like the video. She's also dating Kelly and she knows everything about her. Like that she donates all her earnings to support her family and she has eight other sisters. Miley, you can do so much better. <laughs> what? Did you expect me to introduce you? You're lucky you were even invited. Drink with me today's gone by. Can it be you fear to die? Will the world remember you when you fall? Could it be your death means nothing at all? Who cares? I just want a kiss Can I just catch you having fun? Oh shit, it's mommy! So now Denji is about to experience the biggest challenge a man can face uh, How can he get a kiss from Himeno without cheating on Makima? His loyalty and horny are now in an emotional tug of war and only one side will win Hmm Maybe if we get Makima blacked out drunk, she won't be conscious to see Denji kiss another woman. A few moments later. I feel something. A slight tingle in my fingers. I think it's affecting me. What did I say? 
He can't hold his liquor. Oh no! Oh god! What the fuck, Himmy? Ah! It should have been me! Not him! It's not fair! Ew! And you swallowed it? As a fellow anime girl, that is pathetic. Clean yourself up, you whore! Luckily, Christian boy Arai is here to take care of you because he's a good person. And also tries to convert you because he believes that everyone who isn't a follower of Christ is going to hell. Now Arai gets overshadowed since he has a penis. But don't count out the wholesome work relationship he has with Denji. Well, except the one time he tried to kill him. But the only thing on Denji's mind is that his first kiss was with the Barf Queen. Well, looks like the night is over. Makima as the senior paid for everything and everyone is going home. Wait a minute, where's Denji? Denji? Denji! Wake up and get out of there! You're not supposed to be there! Hey, you. You're finally awake. Snap back to reality! Did you just roofie him? Bitch, I'm a cargo moo. I know you're drunk, but this is not okay. He is just a boy, and you're blacked out drunk. You two can't legally consent to each other, and you guys are breaking the law. What are you doing? Look, Kimmy, I can't keep covering for your mistakes, all right? At this rate, the public is going to accuse you of being a groomer, even though you, you're not. You're, you'd be a rapist, but they don't know the difference because they're like 12, and they think every adult being nice to them is a pedophile. The truth doesn't matter, Jimeno. Only perception. And you're going to get canceled and fired, and then you'll be forgotten to the point that you won't even get loot fan art anymore. Huh? Fuck! Cut to commercial quick! Hurry! There's still time! Welcome back to the Chainsaw Man Fellatio tier list. Where we left off, we had Makima at D and Power at C. The next girl on the list is Himeno. Himeno would be S tier. Himeno has kissed a lot of guys, so it's no surprise that she might have sucked a lot of dick too. And sucking a lot of dick means you're gonna get better at sucking dick. So, she's the S tier. Her mouth is so used, she can morph her own mouth to the size of your cock. Doesn't matter the size, doesn't matter the girth, it will fit and it will feel good. The next girl is Kobeni. Now there's a lot of memes about her giving the best sloppy doppy blowjobs, but Kobeni is very shy, and she would only do it out of obligation and desperation because of her overbearing family. I don't think she'd be very good. Her technique would not be that great. But, you know, she'd be earnest about it because she needs to make money, and the better the dick sucking, the more tips you'll get. So, B tier. Next on the list is Denji. Denji has never sucked any dick. I don't think he would want to suck dick, but he did sell one of his testicles before, so we would not be surprised if he did suck dick in his past. However, Denji has very sharp teeth, and he's he likes to eat, so I don't think he'd be very good at it. He'd probably bite it off, honestly, if he was forced to do. But, we do know that he swallows, so... Maybe C tier. Aki. Very earnest, very straightforward guy, very normal dude. He has a top knot so that you can pull on it and probably a C tier as well. And our boy Arai. Arai is, uh, I mean, he is the most Christian boy ever. He would never suck dick, but if he had to suck dick, he wouldn't do a very good job. Go E tier. Uh, Puchita's a dog. Um, I don't know why you would want your dog to suck your dick. Some people are into that, but they do have big tongues, but he does have that chainsaw in his face. So if he did, you know, suck your dick, uh, he would stab you, and you'd probably die. E tier. You can go with Makima. Now that I think about it, I think Power should move up just bad. She'd be, I think she'd be better. Makima's still D though, because I don't think she would ever suck your dick. And if she did, it would just be to make it flaccid. No. No. He would give the best blowjob if it would lead to the death of the gun devil, he would totally do it. And I think Denji should be too. Yeah, Power, you stay at C. All right, there we go. I'm, I'm happy with this. And that's the tier list. Uh, 
100円ください。